hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you guys how basically you can add a custom menu inside your google sheet and basically here you can just uh, show a simple form to the user to insert the values such as name age country you have three columns out there inside google sheet so you can see we have a custom menu out there this is a menu that we have added using google app script and if i tap on this menu you will see there are two options out there there is sidebar form if i hit this option I will see a nice little form here which is appearing in the sidebar section of the Google Sheet and here I can enter the information guys name, age and country and if I submit this information you will see that this information will be captured here inside this now you can add this just changes change these values to enter as many values as you want you can see that and you can even use of this form also guys model form as well so if you see that this will be coming as a model window so now if you see you can now be entering like this so click on register you will now see click register so you can see where values will be inserted automatically inside your google sheet so you can also use this tutorial guys basically how to you uh, add a menu and how to add a user form inside the google sheet itself using google app script so for this tutorial guys i have written a complete blog post on my website webninjadeveloper.com so you can find that link in the description of this video to follow along with this video i will highly recommend that you read this blog post step by step instruction is given so let's start building this application so first of all guys what we need to do is that you need to make a new sheet out there just go to google and type here google sheet and basically the very first link which comes in this is the thing that you need to go go to sheets and create a blank sheet out there and basically just rename this sheet to let's suppose info data and now we just need to put the three columns out there name age and country you can take any columns as you want according to your application and then you need to go to extensions and go to app script you can see that no menu is there out there we need to construct a uh, real menu here real menu item so we can do this using this uh, google app script so the very first thing guys we will show we are we will be showing a simple sidebar form here when we load the page for doing this process we need to create a simple html file here in the root directory index.html file and inside this guys we will have a simple form element and basically inside this form we will have three fields out there input type text we will be giving id to it of name and the placeholder will be simply be enter name and this should be required for the validation so user must enter this field and then we have the input type number in this we will be entering the age id age placeholder is enter age and this is also required guys so now we will have for the country input type text now id is country and we will say that placeholder is enter country and this is also required then lastly we will have a simple button guys input type will be of button and we need to give it an id of button and uh, the value will be here of register that's it just close this so now we have a simple form guys so we need to show this form inside the sidebar section of google sheet so we can simply first of all save this and then go to code.js file here and here what we need to do is that we need to show this form so we will make a function here function show form so what this function will do basically it will first of all target the form here which is present inside this index.html file so we will use the html service guys html service class we will use here inside google app script and this contains a method which is create template from file and here we need to pass the template which we have constructed which is in the earlier step which is index.html so we are passing the name of this template without the extension now we need to get access to spreadsheet app and we need to get the ui method get ui and inside this this contains a method various methods show dialog box show model dialog show sidebar so i need to show the sidebar section guys so here we need to pass the user form that's it so what it will do guys it will show the form in the sidebar section so now if i run this project you need to grant the permission uh, sorry we need to select the form here show form click on this 
so now it is executing this function guys so first of all it will ask for the permission you need to grant the permission this will only happen for the very first time in the subsequent runs you need did not have to allow the permission so click on review permissions and just select your account here and this is totally fine go to advance and this one click on allow so you will see display and third party web content in prompts and sidebars inside google application simply click allow and now what will happen here basically execution started so it is saying that invalid argument uh, get user interface let me see what is the thing out there show sidebar Uh, okay oh sorry we haven't put this evaluate function guys this is required here <laughs> so you need to put this evaluate function right here so this was a problem let me now run this once again click on run you will see this execution completed so now if you go to google sheet you will see automatically in the sidebar section this form is appearing right here so obviously this form will not work we haven't written the javascript so nothing will work here so as you can see guys this is now showing here and similarly guys what we can simply sh show here we can also show a, a different form as well here let's suppose we want to show it as a model window as well so we can simply again call this method get ui and this time we can show it as a model show dialog we will again pass user form so what will happen if you run this now click on run so you will see this model window will appear here and this is a cross window you can close this form and here you can enter your information so various methods are supported there is also a method called as show model dialog so click on save and now run this you will now see basically this is the thing here so parameter okay okay you need to provide a title as well so here we can provide a custom title to the form let's suppose we provide here user registration form you can even provide your own title as well and here also inside this uh, sideline form guys you can also provide a title using this set title method here we can provide the custom title which is user registration form so now click on save and now run your project you will now see basically it will again you need to review the permission guys because you are setting the title that's why every time you do a new thing you need to provide the permission for that you can see see edit create and delete all your google sheet spreadsheet so allow the permission so now you, you can see the title is written here user registration form you can even move this model window right here so this is the beauty of this this is a cross button like this here also so now guys we just need to write the javascript part here so whatever we submit here we need to show to the user but before that as we load the page guys we don't need to show this form we need to show it in a menu like structure so when we click the menu then only we need to show this form so for doing this we need to construct a new function here which will be invoking function on open so we will invoke this function when we load this script so first of all we will need to write this uh, we will need to get access to spreadsheet app get ui and inside this we can have a method guys which is create menu so this method is used to create a menu so here we can put the label of the menu as user menu and then we contain the add item method and here we can add an item which is uh, sidebar form so if you if user click this we will show this method show form inside double quotes this is the function name guys we are showing here show form and similarly we can add a second item to this menu add item we can say model form and we can now execute a different function which is model form and lastly we need to show it guys to the add this to the add to ui so we will simply click on insert the menu into the uh, google sheet simply like this so now uh, we will basically what we will do uh, we will copy this line and paste it outside 
so that it is available to both the functions so we have constructed already this function guys we will copy this line this is for the sidebar and we will write the next function which is uh, the modal form and inside this we will paste that line you will see that and here let me delete the title here we don't need this instead we can pass the title here user registration form so now you can see we have uh, calling these two functions show form modal form depending upon which item is clicked here so we have two functions out there show form model form now if you save this so click on the run option basically guys what will happen the parameter don't match the signature for or oh sorry i think this title you can't provide inside this so here you just need to set the title here only set title user registration form so just set the title here so now click on the save project and now if you run the script here so just go to and uh, if you see here if i refresh the google sheet out there i think we have uh, selected the wrong method guys you will see that we have selected the wrong method let me go to the app script here so whenever we load the page we need to change this function guys which is on open so we need to execute this function so now you can see a menu is added out there at the very top so when i click this menu we have two options sidebar form it is running the script you will see it will show this form to us now if i run the model form it will show the model form to us so we have perfectly working the menu guys so now we simply need to handle the form so whatever values we write if we click the register button we need to add this inside the google sheet so what we can do is that we can add some javascript code here as you can see we have given the ids to each every input field out there so we can target this using javascript so just write the script tag here so here we will be getting the first of all targeted by the id so we have given the id guys like this which is uh, name age box we will target this document dot get element by id which is age and the country box similarly we will use document dot get element by id which is country so after getting all these three references guys now we need to submit the form so basically we have attached the id to this button you will see this button id so we will target this button here we will document dot get element by id button and we will be attaching a event listener to it add event listener inside uh, javascript which is a click event listener so when we click this button we need to uh, basically define a function which is process form so we will have this function guys process form and uh, basically inside this we will have the data here which we will construct data object it will contains three properties name so name box dot value so now to get the value we will use the dot value syntax here and then we need to get the age box age so this is coming through age box dot value and the country is country box dot value so now we have this constructed this object of data so now we simply need to run a google script dot run and we need to run a function called as append data and here we need to pass the data object that's it so basically this function lets you execute a function which is present inside your google app script so this google dot script dot run basically runs this function we need to define this function right here inside this file and we are passing this data object right here so this is a logic behind this code so this is now complete guys inside index.html simply save this file and now you need to move to code.js to write this function which is append data so we will write this function append data this needs to be same the spelling function append data so data will be received here 
So there are two lines of code is required guys inside this file. We need to first of all get the reference to basically the spreadsheet app. So we will simply say spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet and we will get the sheet by this is a method so get sheet by name so we will be getting the sheet by the name so every sheet guys has a name inside this you will see sheet 1 this is sheet 1 current sheet so we will passing the name here so after this guys we just need to append the row so this contains a method append row so this takes an array object so we will simply say data dot name data dot age and data dot country so the ordering needs to be the same guys so in which ordering you have declared the column so name age country so these columns are there so that's it this is all you need to do simply save the project and now if you run this you will see now if i click on the menu and now if i submit the information here click on register you will see the data is inserted here so one thing is there guys the form input fields are not clearing after we click the register button so i want these fields to be cleared after this so what i can write here inside of our javascript code here so basically we can uh, after we execute this function we can simply say uh, date uh, the sorry this one name box dot value to be nothing and age box dot value to be nothing and country box to value to be nothing so this will clear out the input field so this will make it easy for you to write the values once again so just run this now click on this So now you can see the fields are cleared out there. So it makes it very much easy for you to write. You can see that. You can even use the model form here. Let's suppose. So you can see that. So the values are adding here guys you can see that inside of a google sheet so in this way you can basically add a menu and show this model form or sidebar form and add data inside a google sheet using google app script so please hit that like button subscribe the channel and if you want the full source code you can go to the description of this video to get all the source code and i will be seeing you in the next video